Hey everybody, Lakes Fusion Aquariums here today. Super cool video for you. This is actually my second client's aquarium. My second client ever. This thing used to be a 10 gallon aquarium, then it went up to a 30 gallon aquarium, and now we're at a 75 gallon aquarium. They absolutely love this tank. I absolutely love this tank. Everyone's happy with it. It's beautiful. The growth from the plants is insane. I mean, you got crazy uh, Amazon sword here on the left-hand side of the aquarium, and then you got another one coming up on the right-hand side. That guy actually leaves the aquarium. You can see the leaves poking out. Probably could use a trim soon. But that thing absolutely thrives in the summertime. And uh, we got Italian Val pretty much everywhere. All the, uh, the tall guys you see in there, that's the Italian Val. Some strains of Jungle Val in there as well. But uh, also like the really low grass looking stuff, that is all Dwarf Sag that is thriving in here and has always been thriving in here. We got Laguidia that absolutely loves this tank too. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you. Yup, there you go. Beautiful Laguidia, really nice stuff. And there's another like bush of it right there in the back. This that, this tank just grows Laguidia, like no problem. And uh, we got a mix of Eco Complete mixed with the gravel. And then on the front side of the aquarium, which I'll show you in a second, there's a, a nice fine layer of sand kind of creating a nice beach area so this is like what i call the back of the tank but uh, i guess there is no front and back because i'm standing in the living room but this tank is just absolutely crazy for fish we have red eye tetras we got the glow tetras say what you will about them they live for a long time they seem to do okay uh you know they're not the best coloring looking fish i'm all about that natural stuff but they do well in here we've got um like I said, the red eye tetras, those guys are actually pretty nice looking. Those guys are real healthy. So um, those guys are sweet. We also got a pair of black mollies right over here. These guys are neat. Kind of looks like they're floating in the air right now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we got black mollies, got a denison barb, a single denison barb and a single uh, Bosmani. Unfortunately, they had quite the ammonia spike a while back, and uh, they lost some of their fish, and those guys were included. But uh, everybody in there now is doing real good. And now I'm going to show you the other side. This side gets a little tricky to film because it just gets slammed by, uh, you know, the light, like the reflection. Also, I want to point out this little bear area. i got to fix that. i got to get them some new sand. It's been being slowly worked away by the Corridoras at night and uh, also a little bit of the uh, flow from the power head that I keep adjusting and it just can't, can't get it right. But uh, yeah, we'll fix that up, no problem. That's a new problem for us, so uh, we'll, we'll take care of that. This is such a cool angle. This is the side of the aquarium. It looks so cool when you film like this. Just it seems like it goes on forever, all the plants and everything. That's a really nice angle for sure really cool stuff just tanks full of life that's what i love so this is the tricky side you'll see all the reflections poking up we got the uh sponge filter that was requested to be hidden so we had to kind of cover up that up the best it could and uh, it still functions it still has uh ways for water to kind of flow through it in there probably not as good as it would be you know just out in the open but that is what it is we got the man himself sponge bob in here kind of mixed in with all the uh, natural stuff but hey to each is their own this is how they want it you got a spongebob so uh i guess that could be like patrick's house we just need squidward there actually used to be a squidward house in here could have had the whole gang but uh yeah spongebob's in there We've got some really nice uh manzanita wood i think is how it's pronounced sticking out of the uh rock structure over here and we got oh yeah i forgot about the beautiful neon tetras these guys are actually schooling up together which is something they never do for me and uh i always call these guys the neon tetra because they're kind of boring to me because they don't show up they're sloppy schoolers in my opinion but not in this tank they all kind of hang out and look real good all the time Let's see if i can get some close-ups on them really nice fish i mean you can see the quality of these guys this is like what you'd see in a magazine or something Super healthy fish. Those guys aren't going anywhere. And they get along with everybody too. They kind of just hang out in this little corner, which is kind of cool because you can see their colors really well against the rock. There's that really nice uh, liquidity again. You can see how, how much that's grown. It's just super happy and healthy. It just goes all the way up. I've taken five gallon buckets of liquidity out of this tank, and uh, it it just uh, it just keeps coming back. 
It doesn't even look like I do anything. So beautiful aquarium. I'm here today to do a nice water change and uh, I'm going to test out the tank actually first, see what's going on. Last week we did a nice water change because he did lose some fish, but uh, there was no ammonia spike, no nitrite or anything like that. And the uh, nitrates were at a healthy level, so it was kind of interesting and it was one species of fish, so it really got my head thinking. So I'm slowly trying to figure that one out. But yeah, I just wanted to show off this aquarium. I'm going to talk about the hardware now. So obviously it's a 75-gallon uh, aquarium. So that's covered. And we also have the uh, Aqua Sky, the 48 inch air up here. He doesn't really need a plant light in here because he's got like literally Lake Winnipesaukee right over here, blasting sunlight at it um, later on in the day. So he got that really nice sunlight on this super awesome aquarium. And we also have a power head up here that's causing me problems with the sand down below. Got some snails on it oh, are they dead no i think they're just munching that's cool but um yeah so we got the the power head up there again we have that sponge filter over here doing its thing and we are all connected to the owase i want to say it's the 300 the owase 300 canister filter super cool thing heater in it and everything i always swear by those things i think if you've watched a few of my videos, I'll talk about those quite frequently. That's my favorite filter of all time. So, yeah. Really neat stuff. Really cool fish. Yeah, this aquarium is absolutely insane. I love it. Everybody loves it. Um, clients are happy with it, and that's the most important thing. They get to play with it, too. Every um, holiday, they'll have, like, some sort of scene set up here, like a bunch of... Uh, like a nativity scene or in Christmas time or like Halloween decorations or Thanksgiving stuff. So it's pretty cool. They keep this aquarium nice and fun and I'm, I'm all about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys like this tank. Let me know what you think. This is probably my favorite angle of all time. Gosh, yeah, that might be the thumbnail. I don't know. Um, yeah, this aquarium is just absolutely crazy. I love this tank so much. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, started this from scratch and here we are so it just looks really nice and everybody's happy so beautiful tank thank you guys for joining me and watching this video and i uh, hope you guys see hope to see you guys in the next video so have a good rest of your day